Hey, welcome, welcome. What's good, people? We are here with a Core Keeper video. We're talking about bosses. We are going to be facing off with Gorm, a big, fat, sluggity worm. Make sure before you do any of this, get your prep going. Make sure you repair all of your items, right? Be sure to check your armor. Make sure that you have the correct trinkets that you want. You don't want to be going into a fight and then realizing halfway through it that you don't have what you need. So make sure you grab the armor that you need. Put away anything that you're not going to take with you. Only take your hotbar with you if you're going to fight a boss. You don't want to have to go fishing around for your gravestone in the middle of a boss fight, returning back to it after you've just died. So make sure you put everything away and get what you need to go with you. Don't forget food and potions. Very important. I'm going to do this without potions. I'm just going to grab some food. Make sure all my chores are done before I go. You know, make sure I'm okay. I'm putting my, my egg is cooking there. Good. Good boy. All right. I'm also going to make sure I bring along some milk. And very important, you're going to make yourself some traps. You can make either the basic uh, regular traps or you can go and upgrade to 10. I wouldn't go as high as like iron or anything crazy like that. Just make sure you've got, I'd say about 30 traps is usually pretty good because we're going to put them right in the path of Gorm. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second once we get out there. So make sure you got all your stuff. Uh, you can have bombs too if you want to use some bombs. I do recommend that you at least get to 10. Hopefully you can get to the point where you can make copper keys. You'll need iron for that and planks and so on. If you do get the copper keys, you can open all those copper chests that you found. There's a good chance you'll find a really good ranged weapon. The gun that you can get from it, the rifle you get from it, is insanely good for the early bosses. All right, so you're going to head any direction. And just keep going far enough until you get to a place where you're going to see a track, an open track with a bunch of slime in it. First, you're going to hit the clay biome, which you'll see right here with that salmon color. Then we get right over to here. See this track right here? This is what I'm talking about. This is where Gorm is going to come through. It's a good idea to check any of the side passages and kill off any of the spear throwing cavelings because they can really screw up your day during a boss fight. So I like to take a look around, put some torches up so I can see a little better. Gorm's going to knock everything down anyway, but I mean, you got you to at least get some light so you can see before he does. All right, get, make sure you get your traps. Put everything else into a chest. I like to keep a chest close by. This chest, unfortunately, I keep a little too close and it gets blown up. You might want to put it maybe, I'd say, off the screen so you're not even close to it. A little further away and then you wait. And you wait. And you wait. And you wait. And you... That's him. That's Gorm. All right. Don't worry if your pet hits it a couple times. You're not going to aggro Gorm on the way through. You got to get him down to, I think it's like maybe a third of his health before he'll aggro towards you again. He'll just keep going. No big deal. Put your traps down. I space them out a little bit. I don't know why. It's just how I've seen it done. It's possible you could just put them all in one long line, but try to make sure that they're right in the middle of this track. This will take him down to usually about half health. I don't, I don't get a chance to see it because he does run off the screen most of the time. But this will give you a huge, huge head start. So make sure, again, clear out any of the area below. Make sure that there's no cavelings that are going to mess up your day. Then it takes about four minutes for Gorm to make the complete round trip and to come back again. While you're waiting, you can needlessly obsess over the exact order of your hotbar, like I tend to do for no apparent reason. Don't worry too much about clearing out the area of dirt and so on, because Gorm's going to do that for you. He does it all, baby. And then you wait. And I'm kidding. We're not going to do that again. All right. So you wait your four minutes. Then here comes Gorm. Make sure you start getting a few shots in on him because this is what we're going to need to do to get him to stop. See, we got him to stop here because of all the traps. Now he's going to go into his ultra rage mode. He's going to do this pattern sweeping around you. I am going to let the entire fight play out so you can see the pattern because when I first decided to do this, I thought that it was a circle, but it's not exactly a circle he does like to charge at you face first make sure you don't you know run into the back of him don't let him get into the front of you either he does a, a decent amount of damage you know you can reapply your food bus if you have to you can resummon your summons i have the summons out but i don't know if they're even doing very much damage i think it's the rifle that's really doing the heavy amount of damage my pet also does a pretty good job applying that burn you can see look at that health already going down it's a super super easy fight even easier than the slime. I think the slime's harder because the slime's more unpredictable. Just make sure that you stay out of his mustache. Because if he gets you with the stinky mustache, you are going down to Brown Town. All right, so he dies relatively quickly. You'll see him explode here. Then you go ahead and you can just blow up the chest. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Use your pickaxe on the chest. 
I do kind of look at it first just to see how much I'm going to be carrying. Then I will break the chest open with my pickaxe and get all the stuff. That way you don't have to like sit there and loot for hours. You just break it and you pick it up automatically. You'll notice that my green chest I had here is gone. Kapoof. Blew up. Gorm got it. He got the big old stash on it. So back at base, take your idol, bring it over to the Gorm statue, place it in there because this is super, super, super important. Once you've got the idol in there, you're going to be able to get the best item in the game. Well, one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. I'm going to get the stone that teleports us back to the base. Make sure that you have uh, the currency to pay for it. You should. You need mechanical parts. You need those blue gems. Bring it on over. Pop it in. And get yourself one of these. Because this is going to make your life so much happier. No more miserable walks back after you, know, you go and do some errands. You can just teleport yourself right back. So thank you so much for watching. Glad you guys could be here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And YouTube, you're up.